In the previous part of this project, I showed how you can download the frames from your presentation into images that are stored on your Chromebook. Now I'm going to show how to bring those into a video. And to do that, we're going to use an online editor, and you can access it through the Apps button in the lower left on a Chromebook. It's called WeVideo, and if you don't see it in the first page of apps that comes up, you can always go through your apps with this these icons at the bottom. When you click that, the first time you go in, it'll probably ask you for permission to use your Google Drive. I've already given it permission, so it's just loading up like this. When it loads, you can click Create New Video, and that will load the editor. We need to get those frames from your Chromebook to this area here. And the way we do that is to click on Upload Media and we're going to browse to select them because it is on our device. If it was in Google Drive, we could do that too. I click Browse to Select, and there are my frames. So I'm just going to click on each one, and I'm holding down the Control key so that I can select multiple files. And then once I've selected them all, just click Open down here in the lower right. And they not only have to upload to WeVideo, they also have to process. And sometimes that can take a while. These ones are going fairly quickly. You can close that once it starts processing. Even if it's continuing to process, you can close that. You notice mine uploaded in there right here. Now, if your editor doesn't look like this, it's probably, probably because you're in storyboard mode. And you can switch to Timeline View by going into the menu and selecting Timeline. That's a more advanced editor, and that will work better for what we're going to do in this project. As you can imagine, to build this, we're just going to drag these down in order into the main video track. You're going to do that with all of your frames. Now you can, if you want to, you can add transitions between them. I wouldn't want to overdo this, but you could add in some fades, some flips, and things like that. To do that, all you have to do is drag that in between the two frames. And at any time, you can preview this by clicking play. And you can see what it would look like.